Hi, good day. I'm Sharon Young Pang Chuyen. Me and my four other members of the group representing BBRC Liao, Muhammad Anik Alauddin, Rosabella Jen Binsai, and Jack Tuasuji. Today we'll be presenting a live board application for the subject of Islamic financial economics. Live board application is one of the creative tool for teaching and learning. We all understand that it can get very bored to study with just books or other traditional methods, for example, face-to-face -face between a lecturer and a student. So, why not we choose online methods since everybody owns a smartphone anyway, right? During this pandemic COVID-19, students have to go back to their own hometown so they will not be able to attend classes physically in a room with their lecturer. It can get very challenging for both lecturer and student to learn effectively when it is when this pandemic hit all of us. Also, it gets very stressful for the lecturer to come up with new ideas to present the information to the student adapting to the pandemic. For our assignment, we choose LifeBot application because this application allows users, which means one and or more than two users, to collaborate and learn collectively in real time. So let's start with my smartphone. So you can see it here. First we have to go to Play Store and you have to key in LifeBot Interactive. So here we go. The first app you see on top with green screen color icon that will be the one so let's download together while waiting for this to download let me tell you a little bit more about this application this application judging from the name itself live board so you can learn in live just like youtube live instagram live but with a board so I can show you here. So I've downloaded mine. So let's open. We'll lead you to this. Okay. Alright. So let's next next. Alright. Let's let's create a username with your email and our password. Right, so this is very interesting personally for me because I love both graph in economic and mathematics. Imagine you have to teach the primary school and secondary school math with you giving lecture note or any notes, but they don't understand it because you will not be able to explain it step by step. So this is very interesting because you can speak and you can draw even in real time while your student watch it live from two different locations. So this application you can log in with either your Google account or your login credential direct, directly from the application itself so once you have your new username and your new password you can start with the so what's interesting is you can draw alright you can create a group first and then when everybody is in you can start to draw or you can speak so that's briefly what lifeboard is so 
For further information, I will let my other group member to explain about it. Hi, my name is Jaita Swijin, number metric BB17110818. So today I will be covering late board, mass valuable life collaborations, season 2. This season I will explain each tip on how you can share your season with participant or how to join someone else's season. To get start, I'm going to open a board to get horse the season is what you have to do. Click on these three dots menu on the top right corner and select share board. The share board option will open a new window where you can invite participants to join your live season. You can either type a person email address to send them an invitation or share your season card with them as an alternative option. If for some reason they cannot get the link in their inbox, user can enter Discord manual and join your season. On share and get, you will note that new options have big ended to you three dots, menu and the top right. Participant will lead to add more user if you leave out someone by any changes. This is the same actual windows that appeared the first time you press on share Chat is pretty much a regular box where you can exchange message with participant through types only. Start call will activate voice coverance. If you exit the board, your season will remain live until you press on the stop season buttons. The stop season will accept your presentations into read only, which can be viewed a later date. To get into the different method, you can join a season. It is important to that you must sign up with Lightboard prior to join. As I as I mentioned in yearly, under participant, you can invite someone by email. If the invite is not yet registered with Lightboard, they will be prohibited to do so prior to join the season. Once you enter the email address, the hit send, the person in question will receive an email message which contain your season link. Click this link with direct grip participants you board instantly also on the top portions of this menu and unique season code is automatically generated for you. This is alternative way to have people join if if their invitation link is not available on the paper and or it's got sent to your spam folder. Now let me show you how you can join in season once you have this call. When you enter your defaults, words pay or any group, for a method of fact, you will need to click on the green place button right here and select join season, which is your second option. A window will appear as you to enter your season code. Once you type in the code and click on join, you will be automatically directed to the season in question is able to flow everything on the board so that's all for me thank you hello my name is rosabella jamatinsai and i will continue with lesson group after you log in live board you will be automatically taken to the all group section your default workspace is kind of like your home desk you cannot rename it or delete it and you cannot add members here. To do that, you will need to create a group. Why would you create a group? As a teacher, the main goal behind creating groups is to have separate lessons from different subjects you want to teach. For example, 
you may not want to include the same people in your Islamic financial economics class as opposed to your personal finance class. Now let's create a group. You will notice a green button with a plus sign on the bottom right corner of your screen. Give it a click, type the name of the group you are about to create and click OK. As you can see, your new group appears right below your default workspace on a different color. Now, let's go inside this newly created group and I will show you its components. Each group has three separate sections. The first one is Bones, where you can create bones or join a session by clicking the screen button with a plus sign. The second section is called Recordings. Here, you can store your actions via screen capturing, which also includes the user's voice if the mic is turned on. Whatever you record on your board locally can also be shared on social platforms or replay here at a later date. The last section is Members. But before I get into it, let me show you how to edit or delete your group if necessary. To return to your all groups page, click on this menu icon on the top left corner and select all groups. By the way, if you are planning to have many groups in multiple categories and don't want to waste time scrolling down to find the right one, you can simply click this magnifying glass to start typing the name of the group you wish to find. Each group will have this tiny three dotted vertical button which will let you rename the group you selected or deleted entirely. Now let's enter a group and I will show you what the member section is about. Anyone with a registered Blackboard account can become a participant. A member, on the other hand, is a participant that is part of a specific group. Therefore, the members are participants you have handpicked yourself to follow whatever material you will be sharing in that group. This way, by organizing your groups and members accordingly, all you have to do as a host is follow your predefined schedule and start a session with the same participants without having to invite them one by one separately. To add members, Click on this green plus button and type in the email address of the person you wish to invite. Next to each member, you will notice a tiny three dots menu. When pressed, the two options will show up. The green button will allow you to move members from one group to another. All you have to do is click on the subjects you want to choose, and yes, you can send a member to many groups in one shot. If you click on this red button with the trash can, the member you have added initially will be removed from this group. Once the invitation is accepted on the receiver's end, the group you have created will be displayed as join group for them. The difference between my groups and join groups are simple. As a host, when you create a group, it will fall under my groups, whereas join groups are for invited participants that join a particular group without having the ability to edit, move or delete anything that's stored in. They will have view only access and permissions can be set by the host for live collaborations during board presentations, if needed. It's important to mention that when you share a board in a group containing predefined members, these members will automatically receive both email and in-app notifications to join your session. That's all for lesson 3. Thank you. A very good day to my lectures, Ms. Diane, and to my fellow friends. Today I will teach you how to use LifeBoard as an alternative way to do online class and group discussion. This is how we're going to do it. 
Today I will explain to you how lifeboat can be an alternative way to do live live presentation, online classes and group discussion. Firstly, we choose Eva workspace. Then we press the plus button in the bottom right corner. We choose create from PDF. With this, you can choose what topic you want to teach or to do group discussion for today. I will choose Tawit and Garama. <coughs> you choose the slide that you want to, to, uh, to do a group discussion and to teach for today. Open board. Okay. With LifeBot, you, you also have a uh, highlight features in the bottom left corner. You choose highlight and choose the color. With this, you can highlight the main point of the topic you, that you want to teach for today. For example, we highlight the problem associated with devout in loan repayment control by charging interest or riba on customer. Okay, with this, your friend or the student can understand what the main topic that you want to explain and what the main point is <coughs> lifeboat also come with erase feature if you do something wrong with the highlight highlight features you can also use this erase features <coughs> by erase the highlight that you have missed highlight the last feature of lifeboat is we can export and save our group discussion and teaching into a pdf for example i will choose the untitled board that i have used i press the the three dot in the bottom right on the topic then i export as pdf Then we choose if we want to send it through WhatsApp or Telegram or even you can save it into a Google Drive. I, for me, I will choose save into my Google Drive. We can rename our topic. For me, I will type topic 1. And we can save it in our Google Drive. So, that is the benefit of using LifeBot as an alternative way to do online classes or even group discussion. We can use LifeBot to record our teaching or group discussion. Firstly, we choose Devout Workspace. Then we press the plus button on the bottom right corner then we create board I will, today I will choose portrait we can record our teaching by pressing the three dot button on the top right corner then we press start recording and we can write what we want to teach or we want to discuss as we can see lifeboat have many benefits for us to do online class and even group discussion so i hope you all can use a lifeboat as an alternative way to do online class and to do group discussion that's all for me thank you hi my name is vivi el with magic number BB17110263 from group 12. For the last section, I will continue with the conclusion and benefits. In conclusion, LifeBot application in overall is a convenient, flexible, and reliable application for lecturers and students in teaching and learning platform, especially in online learning activities as it is a new generation interactive platform for visual collaboration. 
This application also will help lecturers or educators to create, record, brainstorming, and share their lessons. For the students, doesn't matter how far both lecturer and students from each other. This application will surely be a fun and productive teaching and learning application in this 21st century since it gives many benefits to both lecturer and students. The first benefit is lecturer and students will engage with an interactive whiteboard and lecturer can create multi-page boards from PDF documents as we can see here. Also, lecturer can get the full access control during the lessons where lecturer can control who can join the lesson and can choose who can edit or write at the board during the lesson. To be more clear, I will show you again how to control the live lesson. But before that, lecturer should click the participant button. So, to control who can join the lesson, Lecturer can add the student email or can give the session code to a representative of the class for the other student to join. While the public link button is where a lecturer can manage the lesson to be in private or public. As this lesson is in private, so only the participants who join can watch the lesson. Whereas, the lecturer can choose who can edit or write at the board by clicking the green pen icon button at the participant's name. Other than that, lecturer can record, save, and share the live lessons. So in short, to record, lecturer can click the start recording button, and to end the recording, just click the stop recording button. While to share the recorded video, tap the three dots and tap the share button. So here, lecturer can share the lesson through WhatsApp, Telegram, Gmail, or any types of communication applications. This will benefit the student who are unable to attend or join the class or lesson at that time, and they can watch and listen it again. Also, student can do revision repeatedly through the recorded video or live. With the recorded live or video lesson, no one will be left behind in the study as not every student has a high internet connection during the live. Besides, lecturer also can use image to visualize in the lessons. This will make students to be more attracted and focused during the lessons. The images can be uploaded from the device for both lecturer and students to write or draw on the board during the lesson by using configurable size of pen or brush and eraser. So, to upload the image, lecturer must create board first, then tap the insert image button, and now you can choose image from your device to edit or write on. Also, lecturer can use the hand icon to highlight the important points so that the students can understand more. The other benefits are it supports real-time collaboration with an interactive whiteboard and real-time teaching sharing with an unlimited number of participants. So no matter how big the size of the class, this application is reliable to be used. And lastly, everyone can get this application by downloading it on App Store for iPhone users or on Google Play Store for Android users. Or students can use it on online website. So this will make both lecturer and students especially 
To be more accessible as everyone can use this application in different devices without making any payment as it is a free application. So, this will end our presentation regarding the LifeWorld Interactive Whiteboard application for teaching and learning platform.